Hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Jatnit. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. You guys, so today I'm going to do this a little bit differently because, you know, I've reviewed setting sprays before, but I usually do it at the end. However, this new Elf Untouchable 45 spray, it's like a primer and setting spray. So I'm going to use it as a primer today then I'm gonna do my makeup and then add it at the end of the day this is how it looks this is elves new SPF 45 setting spray it's already sold out on their website I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back pretty soon that's what I've seen when things sell out they'll come right on back shake it up oh you hear it you hear it <laughs> Because this is supposed to be a setting spray and a SPF. I'm going to set it all over my face right now to prime my skin. And then at the end, I'm just going to do like one side like I've done in the past with setting sprays. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, how big is this? It's two ounces. Okay. A typical setting spray is about 2.8 to 3 ounces. So this is a little smaller, but it is drugstore also. By the way, you guys, I love the, the sunscreen. It's so good. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the spray. Oh, that's a nice mist. Okay, let's spray. Oh, it's strong. Oh, it smells like the Milani, this, uh, this sunscreen. Yeah, you smell the SPF in it. Okay, okay. Let me do a little more. So I'm technically not going to use primer. This is going to be our primer. So what I'm going to do is let this dry down. And before I start, we got some hydration here. Sometimes when it comes to sunscreens, it breaks apart makeup, which is why I always try makeup on with sunscreen. A uh, traditional sunscreen, like the cream. I'm thinking of that, but I just want to bring that up because the skin feels very hydrating, which is nice. It's like sticky too. Okay, for real, let's start with the makeup. <laughs> All right, fam, here we are. Full face and everything. Skin feels very moisturized and nice, honestly. But you know what? Before we really get into it, let me give you some info about this so we all get familiarized with it. The new Elf Sun Touchable All Set for Sun SPF 45 spray retails for $14. This is a clear, quick dry sunscreen setting spray with SPF 45 that easily reapplies over makeup and locks in your makeup for long lasting wear with a natural finish. Infused with skin loving ingredients like watermelon fruit extract, prickly pear, seed oil, and bisablo. I purchased mine on Elf website. All right, now that we have the tea, something I do want to notice, I mean, something I do, I did notice, you know how I sprayed, sun fell on my neck and I still feel it. It really becomes like this moisturizing feeling, kind of like you have the physical sunscreen, the cream sunscreen when you spray it on because my chest feels very hydrated. Like I told you guys, the skin felt very hydrated. The only thing about that is that my makeup wasn't applying as smoothly as I wanted to. It looks decent now because I was really packing it on, but 
but you really had to pack it on because it's kind of hydrating and wet at the same time. So makeup really doesn't stick to that. You see here, we have these patches and I use products that I know and love and work well. So it's not the makeup. It's the one new thing that I have on and it's this spray. It's just something to think about when using sunscreens of any kind sunscreens tend to break makeup apart or it could peel or it could do a lot of different things and I just kind of noticed it here as you can see my skin does look and feel nice and hydrated oh let me look let's look at the let's look at my pores pores look good okay mm -hmm. actually let me put a lip on because I forgot I didn't put one on I just put this a brown lip liner and then this plump L'Oreal in the shade Moonlit Rose. What I would recommend is when you spray this before, if you spray it before, wait for it to dry down. I did wait, but as you can tell, even on my chest, it's been now like an hour. It's still very hydrating. So let's try this side, the left side, right? The side with no piercings, because you know me, I always forget. So. Ooh. So I'm going to press this in on this side. We're not going to see anything different right now because everything is new. Everything is fresh. It's throughout the day how it's going to look and last. I'm really curious to see if makeup is going to break apart. I will say I like this for a no makeup makeup day because it really gives your skin that hydrating, moisturizing, kind of plumped feel and a little bit of a look not too shiny but it gives a little a little with makeup I don't know it might just completely fall apart another thing when it comes to sunscreen it's recommended to apply about every nine minutes if you're going out and about but in LA it is sunny so if anything this is really good to reapply every maybe two to three hours just so you have that SPF protection I also added my SPF prior to starting my makeup which is the Kosas I always add a cream SPF SPF, even if I'm using a foundation that has SPF or a setting spray that has SPF because it's good protection to have like the actual cream onto your skin. Although this kind of legit acts like a cream, you know. Guys, should I keep my hair like this today? I'm kind of liking this little diadema. Okay, I think I am. I got my earrings on. I curl my lashes. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, and also, you so I stuck with drugstore makeup today just to keep it cute at the drugstore. And I used new products. Well, the only new new thing is this concealer. Oh my god, it's so good. Like ojeras wear, you know. And now we have a bit of a glow here versus here this one we still have a glow but you see how this one is glowier and this one i'm telling you about the makeup you see how it kind of separated it a little more and it's not really the sunscreen and spray fault that's just how sunscreen is especially these sprays i've used a few of them before so we'll see what i really want to show you guys what i'm looking for to show you is if makeup completely separates from the skin you guys know i have oily skin we wear our makeup all day long so we're not trying to look as thought of you know but yeah let's remember this is the side with setting spray right yeah okay this is it fam i'll have everything linked down below per the huge and let's go in front of the window i'm gonna wait a little bit because it is gloomy just to show you just to show you how the skin looks in daylight you know what hold on hold on let's do a flash test we know that sunscreens tend to give us a little bit of flashback but let's see let's see no, I think we look kind of good, huh? No flashback. Okay, cool. Perfect. See you at the window. Okay, gloom, but we have a good amount of sunlight. Not sunlight. The sun isn't here, but daylight. Okay, the skin looks good, but I, uh, you see that over there? This is the side we sprayed. You see how glossy it looks? Hydrated, like plumped, right? Or is it just me seeing things? Or is it too early in the morning? I haven't had my coffee. Let me know what you see, because look. This is the side we sprayed down. And then this is the side that we just have the spray as a sunscreen. I kind of like this side too, though. You can see clearly the difference. Sprayed, no spray. Okay. 
Oh my God, I'm excited. Hey fam, I'm back. It is 610. I just realized I didn't give you the time, but it was around 630. So we're going to put it at the 12 hour mark. You know, I got some footage for you a couple hours ago to show you how the skin was looking. On the left side is the side that we sprayed before and after makeup. Looking good, super glowy. And on the other side, I feel like it's less glowy and still well put together. Skin's looking very glowy. That's what we're looking at here. Side with no setting spray side with setting spray you can immediately see how much more glowy we are here you see that glow i haven't reapplied sunscreen because i really didn't leave the house and of course i'm doing a wear test and here is the side with no sunscreen i mean after makeup this looks really good considering it's very glowy we started off glowy it's very hydrating which gives us this natural glow and we've been looking like this all day long so i don't feel like we look worse and most importantly is that makeup is not separating the only thing i would do differently because i have oily skin i would just use this at the end of the makeup because you saw when I added it as a primer makeup just wasn't blending out well I just noticed my blush looked like plops there there was too much hydration I really couldn't blend and I just left it but as you can see the makeup looks good because everything warmed up I really really like this spray it adheres to the skin I don't look gastada everything looks all good overall this is a yes for me I really really like it you know what let's tap the face actually and this is what you can do throughout the day especially because this gives a nice glow and then we can just reapply again just know too that the smell of sunscreen is quite potent in this spray so just keep that in mind and you see oh oh skin looks good and then we're ready to hit up the streets fam let me know your thoughts are you planning on getting this did you get this have you used it if so let me know and did you like the original sunscreen that came out because i really really like that one thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye it's feeling all good